All right, next up, we look at the drama on Wednesday with key U.S. data delayed by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS. The agency rekindled concerns about the processes for publishing sensitive economic data. The BLS provided three Wall Street businesses with U.S. jobs data that had been eagerly anticipated but had been delayed on the agency's website. A government delay on key payroll data whipsawed markets and caused confusion on trading desks. A majority waited for the agency's website to refresh with updated numbers. However, three banks, Mizuho Financial, BNP Paribas and Nomura, contacted the agency via phone and got the numbers 30 minutes before when the data were formally published online. This is according to a Bloomberg report, which brings the fair access to data into question yet again. Nancy Tengler, the CEO of Laffer Tengler Investments said, and I'm going to quote her here, the whole thing reeks of incompetence. Now, this blunder is the most recent in a string of other missteps that have plagued the PLS data releases. In May, the agency accidentally posted the consumer price index on its website almost half an hour before it was supposed to be released. A month earlier, an article had surfaced casting doubt on the department's procedures. That report claimed that an economist from the BLS had responded to many questions on the inflation measure from prominent Wall Street businesses such as J.P. Morgan Chase and BlackRock. Now, a BLS spokesperson told Bloomberg that the Office of the Inspector General within the Labor Department has been informed about the incident. The spokesperson is an, in an email to Bloomberg said, and I'm going to quote from the email, the integrity of our data release is BLS top priority and we are closely reviewing our procedures to ensure this does not happen in the future.